good morning. It's Saturday, December 3rd, 2022. It's already 1140 in the morning. I've been up since 6 a.m. Yeah. Um, we had to take the car into the shop this morning to get um, an oil change as well as other maintenance and it's going to be there a while. <laughs> so we got up, got ready, um, packed a few things to take with us because we weren't sure if we'd be sitting at the dealership waiting for the car or if we'd be coming back home. Uh, we are back home. The car is still at the shop. <laughs> um, so part of our morning, what we did is we, well, we dropped off the car. They said it was going to take like five hours to work on, which means it'll probably take eight. <laughs> um, so we walked to a restaurant and had breakfast and then did a bunch more walking um, toward home, stopped at a grocery store, uh, hopped on the bus, uh, rode that for a little while, and then walked the rest of the way home. So I got in all my walking for the day and then some. Um, and then when we got home, I decided to shovel the driveway. So I am like wound for sound, full of energy, just like ready to go. Uh, I'm sure this afternoon I'm going to take a hard crash after <laughs> expending all of these calories, but <laughs> uh, I'm feeling pretty good right now. So my walk is done for the day. Uh, I did get another clue from Imagine Landscapes for the Gnome Made Gifts Mystery Knit Along. I have not even opened it yet and started knitting it. I need to do that. Um, so one thing done, but not the other. <laughs> um, Christmas gift knitting. I'm working on, um, no spoilers here because this was a request. My mom requested a hat. She wants, um, a ponytail hat, right? So you can wear a high ponytail and it can stick out the top of the hat. Uh, and she requested it in white. So I found some yarn in my stash. Um, and it's, it's, uh, Knit Picks palette in the white colorway. She wanted a white hat and I'm using the Musselberg hat pattern. So I did modify it to have the hole in the top. However, um, I am going to need two balls of yarn to make a double thick hat as opposed to one ball. I thought for sure I had two balls of yarn in my stash in white and I do not. So I went on Knit Picks website and I ordered some more. So that project is on pause. Mom is not going to get her hat in time for Christmas, I don't think. I think it's going to take two weeks for the yarn to even get here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, wow, that was a huge oversight on my part. So, um, dad's socks are finished. Mom's hat is halfway done and on pause. Um, could I, could I rip it out and just make, or just leave it as like a single layer hat? Sure, I could, but I have already started and ripped out and restarted this hat like seven times already. Don't want to do it again. Also, the yarn I chose at the gauge I chose with the pattern I chose, which is a plain stockinette stitch, um, it's not going to be as warm as I want it to be as a single layer. I do want it to be a double layer hat for mom. So yeah, I'm not ripping it out. It's just going to be on pause until more yarn gets here. That's just what I'm going to do. She's, she's going to be fine with a late Christmas present, even though I feel bad, but <laughs> It will be worth it for, I think, the hat she wants to have. Because she I think she wants a warm hat and a double layer hat with a rolled over brim that is then going to be four layers is going to be a warm hat. So I think it's going to be worth it. So I'm switching gears now to a Christmas knit that I was thinking about doing, but I thought, oh, there's no way I'm going to have time. 
well, if I'm not wearing a mom's hat, I have time. So um, this is something for my sister. So if on the off chance, um, Samantha, if you're watching this, stop. Okay, because there are going to be spoilers about my thoughts on what to make. So just stop watching. I don't think she watches, but in case she does, this is your warning. Okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. So it is, it is the time of year when I knit gnomes. And this guy right here was last year's mystery knit along. And so he's got a backpack with an extra friend on him. So my sister works at a, um, she works at an Edward Jones. And, um, my thought was if I could knit one in Edward Jones colors and have the backpack as like his money stash, <laughs> that he would be the cutest thing to sit on her desk and would in no way show up in time for her to put it on her desk for Christmas this year. But whatever. <laughs> so I went to my um, massive yarn stash over here and I got, um, I got some colors. So this green, I think, is going to be like as close to spot on as I can get to their green. And then gray for the beard and a pop of white. Plus I'm gonna use some black. Um, I have some black yarn that I'm using in this year's Gnome Knit Along. Um, and I'll use it over here. I did order some more black since I was on Knit Picks already and I went ahead and ordered some more black. So I have more black coming in case I need it. <laughs> I probably will. Um, as much as uh, I don't like knitting with black yarn, it is so needed sometimes for um, accents and, and things like that. So, uh, so I need to ball this green up and I think I'm going to get started on that. So I'm going to be working on a couple of gnomes. This, this one should go faster because I have the whole pattern and I just need to crank through this puppy um, as quickly as possible so that if anything I could ship I could ship dad's socks and Samantha's gnome right away and just get those in the mail and then mom's hat will just be later um yeah so let's get cranking <laughs>
Marjorie, do you want to come into the craft room? Do you want to be in here to say hello to your fans? What's in it for me? <laughs> hello, good morning. It is Sunday, December 4th, 2022. Uh, I had to look at a calendar because I've already lost count of the days. So it's about 7.30 in the morning. I have been awake for longer than I should have been. I think I got up at 3.30 this morning. I don't know what's going on with my sleep schedule. It is just wackadoodle. But anyway, uh, I was knitting into the night last night. Uh, but after it gets dark, um, I don't really have good lighting in the house to be filming and taking photographs. I will still film and take photographs, they're just not as good as in the daylight. So I'm in the craft room right now. Michael actually put in a daylight bulb for me in the craft room and it's amazing. Um, but we do not have daylight bulbs throughout the whole house. So it makes filming at night really tough because the video, honestly, subpar if it's good at all. Half the time I throw the videos out because they're just too blurry and dark and you can't see things. Anyway, <laughs> so yesterday was day three, which meant I got clue number two in the No Made Gifts Mystery Knit Along. Um, so I finished up clue two last night. I'm uh, going to show that to you. I also started knitting, um, last year's gnome, uh, for a Christmas gift this year. So I also made progress on that. I'm going to show you that in a moment. Um, I do want to say, as I was going back through, uh, last year's show notes for Vlogmas, um, this is not Imagine Landscape's 11th year of doing uh, a mystery knit along in December. It's her 11th mystery knit along overall. So last year at this time in December, it was her eighth mystery knit along. And now we're on the 11th. So I guess, I didn't know this, she does mystery knit alongs throughout the year as well. So I figured that out. So correction, this is not her 11th year, <laughs> but it is her 11th mystery knit along. Uh, so I'm going to flip the camera around so it can focus better on the small knitted objects. I'm going to show you clue two and the progress I made on a Christmas gift. So um, again, my sister, if you're watching, and she's probably not, <laughs> Um, skip ahead like 10 minutes or something, five minutes, just stop watching. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you the whole thing. So this is the mystery knit along for this year. So I had already finished clue one, which is this cute little scarf. And then clue two was the hat. <laughs> it's adorable <laughs> so it's in um, purple and black there we go and so there's a little bit of um, I wouldn't call it color work it's not stranded color work um, but just little pops of purple in the black bands I think that's really cute and then she has you knit uh, an eye cord up here and tie it in a knot. And it's just like the cutest little hat topper that I never would have thought to do, but it's adorable. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, this is clue one and clue two. So we've got a scarf and a hat. And then I started last night, um, last year's gnome who is Nombleberry, and I made the hat. So, um, yeah, 
Uh, the hat pattern is not written with these stripes in it. I added that in. Um, so I just did a stripe every fourth round. So there's three rounds of green and then a white stripe. Um, so yeah, I just added that detailing in so I could mix the colors up a bit in the pattern. Um, I also didn't follow, so just modifications. I did not use her increase stitch. I did a different one um, just because I was lazy. That's purely it. I was lazy and I did not want to read <laughs> about a different kind of increase last night and I just said I'm just going to do this instead and I think it looks fine. Um, but I did make that change out of pure laziness. And then the pocket here on the hat is in black. So yeah, so I've got green, white, and black in the hat, and I think it just looks so stinking cute. So um, today, depending on how much time I have, um, I'm going to pick up for the body. Um, and so that'll get added to the hat here. And uh, I did weave, no, I did not weave in all the ends. Some of them I've just tucked in here. Um, I tied them off in knots, but um, didn't necessarily weave them all in. So yeah, we'll see, because I have a lot of things on my to-do list today um, that I need to get done. So if I have time, I will work on this Christmas gift. Um, if not, then I'll do some more work tomorrow. Um, I believe today's message for the mystery knit along will not include a knitting clue it will be um, one of the extra tidbits so I won't have any knitting to do for this one I'm pretty sure <laughs> it is snowing again So I got a bunch of things done on my to-do list today. I mean, not really a bunch, but things that take a while, like grading exams. Um, we went to church. Um, I started building my new character for uh, Dungeons and Dragons campaign that Michael's going to be running. So I started that whole process, which takes a while because I'm playing a wizard, which I haven't played a, a spellcaster before, so it's got quite a steep learning curve to it with all the spells. <laughs> um, yeah, so I need to do my 30 minutes of walking. And then, I don't know, probably keep working on my character sheet for D&D. &D. 